right, today I'm going to read, I am Ruby Bridges, How One Six-Year-Old Girls March to School, Change the World, by Nicholas Smith. I am Ruby Bridges. When I grow up, my work will be precious. I will be a bridge. I will bridge the gap between black and white, and hopefully between all people. I suppose some things in life are just meant to be. 1960. Before I started school, I wasn't thinking about who I would be when I grew up. What I was thinking about was how much I didn't even like my name. I thought Ruby was a name for little old ladies. It was much too old for someone my age. After all, I was only just turning six. I'm told my grandmother chose this name, Ruby, for me. Well, that explains it. No wonder it's such an ancient name. But I so loved my grandmother, I thought I'll just have to live with it and try to grow into it. Surely I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So there I was, almost six, born in 1954. I'm told that was a very important year because of a landmark case. Brown versus Board of Education. That was when the court banned segregation in schools. But all I knew then was my old name was Ruby Bridges. Oh boy, what's next? What a way to start school. Oh well, how bad can it be, I thought. It's not like I'll be the first Ruby in the world, just the youngest one. So, off to school I go. It is a regular school with lots of other kids to play with. I make new best friends, even my teacher is nice, and it's not hard at all. Surprisingly, it's easier than I thought it would be. I get lots of gold stars every day. Life couldn't be better. Then, just as things are going really well for me, surprise, I find out my parents have decided I am switching schools. To a better school, they say, with better opportunities. But first, I must take a test to get in. What are opportunities anyway? I thought. And why do I need them? Especially if a test comes with them. But then I thought, I'm already getting gold stars, so how hard can it be? Besides, there is no turning back now. It's what my parents want for me. Opportunities. And guess what? Another gold star. I passed the test. Can you believe it? How lucky can an almost six-year-old with an old name like Ruby be? I was about to find out because my mom said I would be starting at a brand new school the next morning and I had better behave. First day. No more walking to school with my best friends. There are four very tall men at the door to drive me to school and they're white men. Who in the world are they? And who told them I needed a ride to school anyway? Federal marshals, they tell me, sent by the President of the United States. Federal marshals sent just for me? Wow! That must have been a very special test that I passed because they said I'm the first. The first what, I thought. I didn't find out what being the first really meant until the day I arrived at this new school. Those four very tall white men, they escort me into the building past lots of screaming white people who line the streets outside the school. It really looks like Mardi Gras to me, but they aren't throwing any beads. What's Mardi Gras without beads? Once I get inside, I meet the new principal, and she is white too. I wasn't taken to my new classroom until the next day. Second day. When I arrive at my classroom, my new teacher opens the door and greets me. Hi, I'm Mrs. Henry, your teacher. Come in and take a seat, she says. And aren't I surprised because she is also white. I never had a white teacher before. And the biggest surprise of all? I am the only kid in the class. I didn't see any other kids at all, not one. That test must have been a lot harder than I thought. Why am I the only kid in my class? Not to mention the only kid in the whole school. 
And why don't I see anyone who looks like me? And then that's when it hits me. I am not just the only kid. I'm the only black person here. I thought maybe I am the first. The first black kid in this school. So that's what they meant about me being the first. Finally, it all makes sense. Me, six-year-old Ruby, the first black kid to go to this school, William France Elementary, a white school. When I asked my mom, she said, yes, it was an all white school until the laws changed when Brown versus Board of Education won their case in the Supreme Court. Now all black kids can go to any school they like alongside white kids. I, Ruby, being the first, helped to make that possible. And that's a good thing for black kids, for white kids too, for all kids once they finally get here. I just want to know one thing. When are they coming? Because they know they are just like me. Who cares what colors we are? I'm just happy Brown versus Board made it right. School is just school and kids are just kids. I'm sure they'll all show up soon enough. I can't wait. I guess being six with an old name like Ruby isn't so bad after all. I suppose some things in life are meant to be. I am Ruby Bridges, the first.